are back with another video so today we are doing sisters review y'all we are an episode behind so today we're doing season two episode seven y'all episode seven so we're episode behind but it's all good it's all good in the neighborhood so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna just update y'all what happened this season what happened in this season in episode i mean episode not season so in this episode what happened was andy and the guy that she invited to the club that she invited to the gay club for maury's party they went to his house you know they went over to his house at the because that party it was over at the end of the season of season um of episode episode six the season was over then the um episode six at the end of the episode it was the party was over so everybody's like leaving and everything so andy went to the guy's house you know and she was so drunk she got so drunk y'all because of the whole thing that's going on with gary she just you know got so drunk kept drinking and, and stuff so she really was like on to him and just you know trying to make him have sex with her and stuff just to get over gary you know get over the situation with gary so that was her little thing of this that was her setup to do that was what she was supposed to do that was her plan to do that so you know she wanted to have sex so basically she got so drunk that he wanted the guy to have sex with her so that's what happened okay that was what happened in the beginning in the beginning of the of this episode then after that danny and the guy from the bar because remember she was dancing with the guy in the bar so now like i told you everybody leaving so you know so danny and the guy at the bar started dancing and maurice was trying to kick them out maurice was like it's over it's over y'all like you can leave you gotta leave like danny stop dancing let's leave like you know maurice was not, was extra trying to make her get out of the make her leave okay and stop dancing with the guy so danny drops maurice home you know so now you know maurice stopped being extra and danny was like i'm gonna drop you home okay so more so danny dropped maurice home okay so now we at aaron so aaron drove karen home you know and Aaron was trying to stay the night where Karen was asking, oh, do you want me to come over? Because, you know, you know, the still sit she's still going through the situation with Zach. And, you know, the whole Zach situation that was going on with Zach and Aaron and all of that. She was still, she's still recuperating from it. So, and, you know, there was blood all over the, the last time when I was telling y'all before she, there was blood all over the apartment. So, she haven't been in the apartment in a long time since that incident with the brother with Aaron's brother and everything with the wife brother and all that so you know what so you know Karen was like basically giving him a sign like we're not gonna have sex tonight like if you're not gonna control yourself then you can't stay over so basically um Aaron was like, I can control myself tonight. I didn't drink. I'm not drinking no more. I can control myself tonight. I'll sleep on the couch. Don't worry about me. I'll sleep on the couch and you can sleep on the, in your bed. Okay. So basically that's what happened. He went up, they went upstairs or whatever. He brought her upstairs and that was the end of that part of that scene. So Danny brings the guy from the bar home, like bring her to her house. Okay. Danny brought the guy to her house. Okay. The guy from the bar tells Danny that Calvin uses meth. So, okay. So what happened was, you know, Danny was offering the guy from the bar some weed that she had. But he didn't know what she was talking about because Danny was like, oh, do you want some? And he was like, um, I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. I don't want no drugs. I don't want no meth. I don't want no liquor, none of that. So he was like, no. He, she was like, no, not meth. I'm talking about weed. So, you know, once he brought up meth, she's like confused. Like, what do you mean meth? Like, what are you talking about? What's going on? So that's when he confessed, confessed, confessed to her that Aaron, not Aaron, not Aaron, not Aaron, 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 that Calvin is using meth. So that's when he brought it up and told Danny that Karen, that um Calvin used meth, okay? When he was at the bar, that he uses it when he goes to the bar. 
that he saw him in the bathroom using it. Okay. So Danny calls Sabrina. So Danny calls Sabrina and to tell her about Calvin doing math. You know, go tell Sabrina, at least let her friend know, like, yo, your boyfriend does math. So that's what happened. So Sabrina tells Danny that she's with Calvin, you know. Cause Sabrina because Don Danny was like, Are you with him? She was like, Yeah. So Danny tells Sabrina about him being on meth. And Calvin tells Sabrina that he wants so now after that, after Danny told Sabrina about him being on meth, you know, he hung up she hung up the phone with the with Danny and whatever. Now Sabrina's acting a little weird towards Calvin because it's like once you find something, once you notice about something or you heard about something, it's like you start feeling a little awkward towards the person. So that's when Sabrina started acting awkward towards, you know, Calvin. So, you know, Sabrina didn't even want to, you know, do anything with him anymore. She was just not in the mood anymore and was just like over it because what's going on and what she found out. So, you know, so Sabrina, you know, she just, they were talking and, you know, Calvin was like, oh, if I met you, if I met you five years ago, we could have had a family, we could have had life together, you know, we could have had kids and a family and all that and got married and he just having all of this future stuff. But Sabrina thinking is he's saying all of this because he's on that meth, because he's on the meth, he's on drugs. So she thinks that he's just saying it because he's high right now. Not saying it like he mean it, mean it. So, yeah. So they was talking and Calvin asked Sabrina, how many kids do you want? She says, I don't know, maybe two. So he says, I want five kids. So, you know, she's like five in her head she's like five kids that's a lot five kids is a lot yo he like he want five kids right they just talking and calvin wants to you know wants to be it, now she's telling calvin i mean now calvin is telling um is telling sabrina that he wants to be exclusive with her so now he's she's just like all over the place her mind is all over the place because what danny said and now he's saying he want to be exclusive it was just a lot going on so then sabrina doesn't feel the same way and basically saying i don't want to do that i feel like we should just you know now she's telling him that she just doesn't want to even be in a relationship after hearing what she heard she's basically telling him like i don't even want to be in a relationship to be honest so you know how she, she tells him that she's not ready to be in a relationship. So Calvin got mad at Sabrina for what she said. He was mad. And he was like, I'm just going to go to sleep. Like, he was just upset. He was not feeling her. So Sabrina wants Calvin to stay the night. He didn't want Sab he didn't want Calvin to go. She didn't want Calvin to go. So Sabrina was like, don't go, don't go. So, you know, I want you to stay. So, you know, he stayed just to be respectful as a man. Being respectful, he stayed, right? So now Sabrina's feeling bad about what she said because, you know, now he's upset and she know he's upset because he, he don't even want to color her, cuddle her or nothing. Like, since you don't want to be in a relationship with me, why do I need to even cuddle you or do anything with you? Like, that's how he feel. So now we're at Karen. So Karen has a dream about Zach. So in her dream, she has a dream, like, I don't know where she just started having a dream while she was sleeping about Zach and how he was killed by the guy and all that, by the guy and whatever. So Aaron came in to her room to comfort her and basically saying like, oh, Zach is not dead, Zach is fine. It's, everything's gonna be okay. Like just giving her, motivating her, like everything's gonna be okay. I got you, come here, you know, comforting her, you know? And then Karen tells Zach, I mean, thinks Karen, so now Karen thinks that Zach is killed based on her dream that he's dead based on the dream that she had so you know so karen wants calvin to like hold her now because she wants him to hold her because she just he just she just needed somebody to hold because she just like feels so scared and everything about the whole zach situation about and so she thinks that zach is dead based on her her dream so it's crazy y'all it's crazy right crazy so after all of this, after Karen didn't even want to deal with Zach, now she having dreams about Zach. That's just crazy. That's how I feel. That's just crazy. So now Andy 
has sex with the guy and he like so he brought that he brought to the that she brought to the club so they had sex okay boom boom they had sex so the guy's mother tries to wake them up so now we find that now now the guy that the guy that andy brought to the club he has a mother his mother lives with him okay his mother lives with him and she didn't know that so and she lives in the basement underneath him so i'm like she's like what your mother lives with you but yeah he's a mama boy okay quote unquote he's a mama boy <laughs> but yeah so his mom talks to andy about last night because he she heard everything she heard everything that happened last night so his mom knows about Andy's situation with Gary. So she knew. He knew too. The guy knew. And his mom knows the situation with Gary and the court and all that stuff. And the cops coming over to his, her house and all of that. So basically the mom read through her and was like, listen, if it's about your situation, whatever you're going through, do not take it out on my son. Don't even try to, you, you try to use my son because you were going through what you're going through with your ex or with your boyfriend or with your man. So Andy felt like humili she felt humiliated. Humil uh, humiliated. How do you say that? She felt humil uh I can't say it y'all. But y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. She felt humiliated, whatever it's called. She just she just wasn't feeling right, you know, because she just felt now she feels disrespected and she just feels off so now we back at fatima and zach so fatima woke up zach and gave him some meds for the pain because remember he still has some pain from when he got you know got stabbed so fatima believes in zach and was telling zach like i believe in you like you got something in store in your life like i believe that you're gonna do good in life so she basically you know believes that he could turn his life around and fatima gave him a keys to the car to some company car that he had that she has so she gave it to him to use you know it's legal it's not illegal it's legal to do that it's based on a she's in a group like in a um she's in a like in a group where like if you went to jail before it's like to get you out of jail it's like it's a whole thing but she got a company car and you know she let him use it and you know that's what happened so karen now karen woke up and see that see the food on the table because you know aaron cooked you know aaron was like i know you're going through it so let me just get up and cook for you so she he cooked for her and aaron feels like so after everything that was going on, Aaron feels like everything's just coming back together. Everything's going to work out. He feels like everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be okay. Like nothing's bad going to really happen. Everything's going to be okay. So after they eat and stuff, he made bacon and eggs. You know, some good, 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 the good, good. So while they're eating and everything and talking and whatever, Andy walks in the apartment and came over to Karen's house and that's when Aaron said, I'm out. Aaron said, I know my cue. That's my cue to go. So Aaron left to give them some space alone, give them time to talk. So Aaron left to get ready for work anyway. So Karen wants to know. So now Karen asking Andy, what happened last night? Like, wants to know everything that happened last night. Because like I told y'all, Karen and Andy have a close relationship. Okay? They do. They have a close relationship. So, you know normally andy tells karen everything so this time you know she want to know like what's going on like what happened like you know she knows she want to know everything she was like what's going on so you know andy tells karen everything that happened last night with the mom and everything like how the mom heard them having sex and everything like everything you know and karen was like Karen was shocked, okay? Karen was a little shocked about what that was going on. Because she was like, he's a mom boy? Mm-hmm, he is a mom boy, y'all. He's a mama's boy. So now Gary talks. So now the lawyer goes to to the, um, help try to help Gary. So Gary talks to his lawyer. 
and Gary asked the lawyer about Andy because the thing about it is Gary asked the lawyer to spy on Andy. So the day that so when they went to the club, the gay club, he was there. The lawyer was there watching Andy, seeing what he was she was doing and everything so that she could so that he could tell, you know, so that he could tell Gary what was going on. So basically he had the lawyer spy on on her for him. So which is crazy. So, you know, he was asking like what what did you see? What happened with Andy? So that's when the lawyer said you really don't want to know what happened. But he wanted, he was like pushing him, pushing the lawyer, like, just tell me, just tell me. So that's when the lawyer told him, like, she was with a, a guy. She was with the guy. I saw her at the club with the guy. So, you know, and then, you know, Gary's asked the question, what was they doing? What were they doing? They was, you know, she said, he said, they was just dancing, whatever, you know, just regularly dancing, you know. He was just suspicious, like, like, what is she doing with another guy? So then the lawyer said, because the lawyer was like, okay, I, I told you what happened. Now let's focus on getting you out of jail. Let's try to focus on that. Let's focus on what's the plan to get you out of jail. That's what the lawyer was saying. So now we're back at Preston. So Preston came into Danny's apartment, y'all. So y'all know the guy, you know that Danny and the guy from the bar, you know, they they had sex so now it's the morning time and Preston came in to the apartment and Danny asked him like how did he get in and get into the apartment so you know and you know Preston said that the landlord let him up because you know the landlord knows Preston because Preston used to come over all the time to see Danny so the landlord didn't have a problem letting him up so you know the landlord let him in and everything so Danny, basically, Danny was acting very suspicious. Like I gotta go to work. I gotta leave. She never go to. She never rushes to go to work. So that's why Preston thought it was odd. Like why are you rushing to go to work? She lied about some promotion she got. She ain't got no promotion. Talking about it's a promotion, a promotion that I'm having. Promotion for my promotion. The big boss is coming today. She was lying, lying, lying. And he heard everything. He was like, I hear somebody. Is somebody in here? She was lying about somebody being in, about nobody being, somebody being in the house, in the apartment. So, you know, she got caught. He found, so the guy came out. The guy from the bar came out. All naked, bald out, late, naked, everything. No clothes on, just naked. You know, everything out. Everything is out. Okay? That everything is out. So, you know, Danny got caught about the guy from the bar so that was the ending the ending was when the guy came out and you know and preston was like confused like what is he doing here and that was the end of the episode so the next episode we're gonna we're gonna do okay next week you know i'm i even know i'm far behind but i hope you like this episode i hope you like this show i hope you like sisters you like the show if you still haven't watched it what are you waiting for go and watch it Listen, go watch it, okay? Because it's amazing. It it actually it teaches you about it teaches you about being in a relationship. It also teaches about girl codes and what it is to be a to be a female and what girls go through. So it's a good show. If you really watch, if you watch it, you will love it, okay? So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so y'all will be notified every time I post a new video. Love y'all. Peace, love, and hair grease.